Here's what's happening at Al-Aqsa Mosque right now in Jerusalem. Hundreds of Palestinian worshippers have been tear-gassed, attacked with rubber-coated steel bullets, and arrested by Israeli forces, who stormed the Holy Mosque during prayer times in an attempt to clear the compound. The Red Crescent says more than 170 people have been injured, with more than 80 transferred to hospital for treatment and at least one person in critical care. So how did all of this start? The city has been on edge all week over the imminent eviction of six Palestinian families from their homes in the neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah. For days, activists gathered to protest a court-ordered removal of the families and replacing them with Israeli settlers who had filed legal claims over the land. Israeli police shut down the protests and arrested dozens of activists, eventually blockading the entire neighborhood to prevent any public gatherings. On Friday, hundreds of thousands of Muslims from across Palestinian areas traveled to pray at Al-Aqsa Mosque, marking the final week of the holy month of Ramadan. Following the prayers, some worshippers began chanting in support of Sheikh Jarrah through the streets of the old city. Israeli police responded quickly, violently dispersing crowds that included women and children with sound grenades and rubber-coated steel bullets. When people retreated to Al-Aqsa compound, which sits at the heart of the old city, Israeli police entered and attempted to clear the area that still contained thousands of Palestinians. Videos that emerged from the night showed grenades thrown at worshippers as they prayed, and several areas including Al-Majid Al-Qibli were tear-gassed while people were trapped inside. Many hid inside Al-Aqsa Mosque, where they remained trapped for hours as Israeli police cut electricity lines to force them to evacuate. Emergency services are still trying to assess the injuries and restore calm to the civilians still coming to grips with what happened. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has demanded an emergency session at the UN Security Council over what he calls disgusting and sinful acts in Al-Aqsa and Sheikh Jarrah. Palestinian civil society has called for a day of anger on Saturday in response to an unprecedented crackdown at one of the holiest sites of Islam during its holiest month.